Hi, this is Hawkeye007 once again, and I'm here to discuss the legacy of Carrie Fisher. Somebody made this comment of the things you can do to remember her by. And number three was topple a fascist regime. And I thought, you know, that's a perfect segue for what I need to talk about. Fascism. Now, I watched a video recently that perfectly explained it from Mussolini, who said a fascist or a bundle of sticks is stronger than one stick because you can break one stick, but when you bundle them together, they are stronger. While that analogy on the surface seems pretty sound in logic, what it lacks is actual real world application. You see, having a bundle of sticks is nice and it's great for starting a fire but when you imply, if you actually implement it in a government you find out very quickly that it has a very negative side which is it controls everything our entire government right now isn't controlled by the people that's why the people elected Donald J Trump not because they hate blacks or women or Latinos. In fact, if it weren't for the blacks, the women, and the Latinos, Donald Trump would not be president. So it is in large part to their participation in the election process that he is our current U.S. president and will be inaugurated soon. He was elected because people are tired of being called racist, bigoted, sexist, homophobic, misogynistic, Islamophobes. And I'll get to that in my next video because that's a bucket of worms we need to open. But Donald Trump is not disconnected like the Democrats are. He's not part of the longest standing party to oppose freedom and liberty. This party called the, Democrat, the, the Democratic Party has throughout its history opposed the suffrage movement, the civil rights movement, the abolitionist movement, and has never once shown that it actually cares, not even in the 21st century, because it's still bringing in plenty of bumper crops of votes. How? With their free stuff. They don't care about anybody. All they care about is getting your vote, and however they have to do that, they'll do it. So get off the Democratic plantation and come over to the Trump side. We're not racist, we're not bigoted, and we're not sexist or homophobic. If Princess Leia was still alive today, the rebellion would support Donald Trump. If this was Star Wars, Donald Trump would be Han Solo. He's got a smart mouth, he's rude, he's scruffy. Donald Trump, the Star Wars equivalent of Han Solo. And do you know who Hillary Clinton is? She's Darth Vader in a pink jumpsuit. But I can't call Darth Vader, you know, equivalent to Barack Obama because Darth Vader's black, Barack Obama's black, and that would be racist, right? 